20 seconds in Thailand. Thailand Road. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> so for me, it's like... I have a scene after that. Stop. Something new? Yeah. Something new. All right. This is the owner of the Orchid Bar. This place is right beside the Orchid Bar, so I don't know what he's doing, but this is the first day of it. Oh, you're gonna make you're gonna make this picture? Yeah. I'm not sure. This. You're going to try. Yeah, I want to try. Try to try. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Twenty seconds in Thailand. Thailand, Rob. Check out my ride. Woo, baby. That's not actually my ride. It is late in the afternoon. It is actually like what is it? It's like six o'clock in the afternoon. I slept until four thirty in the afternoon because I spent all night talking to one of my best friends in North Carolina, Melody, and her husband Jerry. And it's like a twelve. 11 slash 12 hour difference depending on daylight savings time in America and so I got a late start there's another birthday party I have to go to and it's again at the uh, the white what is it at the white sun bar and if you ever want to feel special in life have a girl that doesn't speak any English find someone to translate to tell you or to Having a girl that doesn't speak English and her finding someone to translate please come to my birthday party makes you feel special. So I gotta get my together and go to a birthday party. Look who I found, look who I found, look who I found. <laughs> Kun Joy, Kun, where have you been? I'm here. No, I did it all two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Where did you go? Kamala. You stayed in Kamala? Yeah. I thought she quit working here. <laughs> you didn't quit. I ask for you every day. I ride by. No see. No see. Yes, yeah, someday I come. Someday I cry. Why? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know you're back. Yeah. I missed her so much. Look, I'm shaking. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Where you go? Uh, go uh, birthday party. White Sun. Oh, White Sun. There's another birthday party. But I can't take Joy because she's working. Yeah. I can eat uh, in one hour. In one hour? Yeah. Oh, you should come. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Ma? Bye bye, Joy. Bye bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> I asked her on a date. She said not tonight. She has to go eat with her friend. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll go ahead and say sorry about any wind, but it is a beach and that's all I got. Uh, the birthday party was another birthday party. Balloons and music and food. And since we just did that two videos ago, there's no real reason to show you a birthday party. What I did want to do today was walk down here by the beach and find that little place I found last time with the 50 baht beer. Hey, that's 50 baht beer on the beach. I got a nice little email the other day with some pretty cool questions. And the questions weren't so much about me as much as uh, about um, subscribers. So I wanted, to, I wanted to answer some questions for subscribers. Walking on the sand and complaining. I forgot how far of a walk this was. The tour season is actually coming to a close now. Some little stores are even already uh, shutting for the, the low season. You can see it's really not that crowded anymore. Boy, this place is a lot further down the beach than I remember. Like I'm on the other side of the beach now. Oh, okay, now we're getting close. See, I told you I found it. But it's pretty busy here today and I don't want to interrupt everybody. I think I'm just gonna sit out here and try not to interrupt everybody. Hmm. Cheers to the coconut garden and a 50 bot beer. Questions by James, answers by Rob. Question number one, how long do I think I will stay in Thailand? Uh, to answer that question, when I got over here, I thought I would stay for three months and that was almost nine, 10 months ago. I plan on keeping, I plan on staying here as long as possible uh, to do that, I'm going to have to make some uh, 
visa changes, I, I can't stay on a tourist visa forever. Everyone knows that. But even if I did go back home, I know I would still come back. Which goes right into question two. Would I consider uh, setting up a, visa, uh, a business visa in Thailand? <clears throat> yes. As a matter of fact, I've already checked into it. Because to have a longer term relationship with Thailand, you have to have a business or a family. I would rather have the business right now than the family. You could also do an education visa, but that's usually just for one year, which is not a bad idea. But for the business, eventually, yes, have to be the business. What type of business? I have no idea. Uh, export, media, I, I, I don't know. I really, I really don't know what type of business I would set up here. Um, it would not be owning a bar. Definitely not owning a bar. What do I miss about home? Uh, friends. And the convenience of being at home. The convenience of knowing the roads, knowing the rules, knowing the laws, and not having any kind of fear about home. That's, if I miss the most, I miss, you know, just the comfort of being at home. It's, it's just that simple. It's like when you get back home from vacation. You take a day or two, but you're kind of relieved that you actually got back into your own house, you know? Same with the country. Next question, what does my 21-year-old son think about me living over here? I will tell you, one, he's fine with it, but two, he says that I am his best wingman ever now, because now whenever he goes out, <clears throat> when he tries to break, when he's breaking the ice with some new girl, oh, my dad's in Thailand. Oh yeah, and he's on YouTube in Thailand. Yeah, it's my dad. The girls are like, really? He hasn't expressed the desire to come over here, but he's really busy with his work. So to pick up and go around the world, you know, for a week or so is just not in his budget or agenda right now. Right now he's more interested, he's got a little sister uh, and two brothers. They're not, they're not mine, mine, but he's got a new little sister that he likes to go home whenever he gets the chance because he doesn't live in the same state with his mom, so he goes to see the, the little sister. I have to read this one. How difficult or easy do you think? How difficult or easy do you think you would find it to readapt to life back in the States if you went back? Readapt. Um, it would not be hard for me at all to readapt. Readapt and going back into the United States where I lived for 40 whatever, years is not going to be a problem at all. What I'll have a problem is just missing this place. I know if I went and got a job back in America right now within two weeks, I would want to be back here. Next question, do you think child? Do you think Thailand has changed you or have you just adapted? I think by my adapting to Thailand, I have been changed. I know that's a clever little answer, but honestly, getting over here and learning the social activities of Thailand has changed me. And I, nothing, no offense, ah, the Western culture of women I don't need a man thing, I'm over it. And how everybody has to work harder and be independent. And the women, women feel like they have to be independent, support themselves, and the man gotta go out and, and just keep climbing that corporate ladder. Women too, everybody just keep going more and more. What you did yesterday is not enough. I, I, who wants that? Uh, nobody wants that. I, well, I take that back. There's plenty of people who like to do that, especially if you're young. When you get older, I think it changes a little bit. It did for me. When I was younger, I wanted to go to the top of the corporate ladder. Now, I just wanted to jump off the damn thing. This is a good one. Why don't I have a girlfriend? Or do I? Ha ha ha. No. I do not have a girlfriend. One, when I got over here, I told you I didn't plan on even staying. So, what's the point of having a girlfriend? Or even looking for a girlfriend? Two, I can go around, I, well I have, I go around Thailand and have plenty of girlfriends without having to have a girlfriend. Um, yeah, it would be cool if I had the one girl that could actually hold my hand, take me around, show me, teach me Thai, show me where the best places to eat food, and just a steady girlfriend. But, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so until I find her or she finds me, and I'm not just gonna go out and pick a girlfriend, so I just haven't picked a girlfriend. I haven't chosen one. You guys have met Joy. <clears throat> I go out with Joy every now and then. I just haven't found her. Let's just leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. I haven't found her. 
And last but not least, what advice do I have for someone who's sitting there watching me right now thinking, well, I could lose my job, lose the girlfriend, buy a one-way ticket to Bangkok. Um, I don't advise that you lose your job. I think keeping your job is fine. But on a serious note, my message to you is this. You cannot plan for the rest of your life. You can try, but life will change it for you. So I came over here thinking I was going to stay for three months or 60 days, 60 days or 90 days, and that was it. Once I got over here, I decided to stay longer. Don't plan to move to Thailand and live the rest of your life. A good example, another person that that I know. They got divorced, they were upset. The brother drugged them over here to Thailand. He stayed for two weeks. He went back home, he thought about it. He came back for two months. He then called his family and said, sell everything, I'm not coming back. So he didn't make a rash decision, but when he got over here, he didn't want to leave. So my advice to you is just take it one, one step at a time. Like when you're a baby, you have to learn how to walk one foot, one step at a time. It's, it doesn't make any difference how old you are in making decisions. It's one step, one day at a time. Just, yeah, I would, me buying a one-way ticket was just, that's just me. I mean, that's just ridiculous. All right, James, well, thank you for the questions. And I hope this answered a couple of, and uh, now back to paradise, all right? Still in happy hour with 50 bot beer. I haven't even finished it. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Not goody goody. I decided to go around the beach instead of on the beach because me and flip flops, I feel like a, a two wheel drive truck in a four wheel drive arena. Ta da! He finished it. Get up in the morning, put on your shirt, go to work, punch the clock, open the door, unlock the door, meet the clients, try to sell something to the clients. <laughs> 